Missing for nearly 24 hours, a woman from Spencer has been found in the woods by search crews. Rescuers were bracing for the worst, but are happy with this outcome. Ken McLeod picks up the story in Spencer. Ken? Liam, yesterday was shockingly warm, of course, and it appears that Jeanette St. Peter did what a lot of folks did. She went for a walk. Trouble is, she didn't come back, and that prompted a large search focused on these woods. She'd been missing for close to 24 hours when excited rescuers spotted the woman lying in the woods just a few hundred yards behind her house, conscious but somewhat disoriented from hypothermia. She's out of the woods, she's safe, and she's going to get medical attention. Searchers had spent most of the day in nearby Howe State Park, thinking that 65-year-old Jeanette St. Peter may have gone there for a walk yesterday afternoon, dressed only for the record warm temps. But when police dogs, drones, and the dive team turned up nothing, they went back to her house on Martin Road, where her family had first called 911 after she didn't return for supper Sunday night. You know, we didn't have any ideas of where she could be. St. Peter has no history of dementia or other health issues, and at this point, police aren't sure how she got lost so close to home or how she weathered the dropping temperature overnight. We didn't get those answers just because of her disorientation. Police say she does not appear to have fallen or suffered any injury except for that hypothermia. And even though the temps have been exceptionally mild for January, they marveled at her survival in the elements. Maybe she had determination to make it through the night. Indeed, some rescuers confess to fears their search might well end with the discovery of a body. I couldn't ask for a better, a better outcome. I would have liked to found her earlier this morning, but we found her today safe, and she's going to make it through the uh, ordeal. St. Peter was taken to UMass Memorial Hospital in Worcester, where police believe she will be held at least overnight. In Spencer tonight, Ken McLeod for CBSN Boston.